Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video about the VFD, which stands for Variable Frequency Drive, I believe. And um, that one is uh, 220 volts, 2.2 kilowatts. Um, and I'm going to be uh, going through the manual and uh, explaining what the hell this thing is about. And um, I want to do it for two reasons. One reason is uh, I've seen some videos on the internet and I'm not fully agreeing with them and uh, or they don't really explain much. The second reason is um, I'm making this video for myself so when I have to set it up again I'm just gonna watch it. Uh, I'll try to explain one by one what I'm setting and why I'm setting it uh, so I can understand it better and know what I'm doing. So, let's take a look. So, program number two, I have it set on one. It means that I'm controlling it by the potentiometer. If you set it to zero, you're gonna be adjusting it by, by the arrows. And if you set to number two, you're gonna be controlling it using the outputs here. Uh, program number three. I set here 140, but you can set to whatever you want because it's a default frequency uh, at which uh, spindle or motor will start running at. Um, could be set to whatever you want and it's not the frequency of your mains. Um, let's go next. Okay, program number 4. I set it to 400 uh, Hz because the spin rule is 400 Hz. Hertz. It's the rated frequency of your uh, spin rule. So you should set it to 400 if your spin rule is 400. Program 6. Uh, 6 to 10 I believe um, it's the acceleration curve uh, for your spindle which you can choose three of them uh, it's a constant torque lower torque and a higher torque uh, I set mine to constant uh, 6 uh, it's intermediate frequency which you choose middle, uh, it's two and a half. Um, so it's two and a half. Okay, seven, it's uh, minimum frequency, which is, uh, you know, the lower thing. Uh, so seven, I set to uh, point 0.5, right? Yeah. Um, and then um, number eight is uh, max voltage, which is uh, 220. Uh, program eight to 20, set nine. It's intermediate voltage. And apparently, it's uh, it has to be set uh, on 15 if you have uh, 220 volts. Um, so can't do much here. Uh, if you have 360 or 380, it has to be set to 27. Um, now 10. It's the minimum voltage. Um, which for 220 should be set at 8 and again 10, 8, set, okay okay number 11 it's the minimum set frequency so it's like a minimum frequency that will be running at and apparently it's to prevent workers from uh, uh, using it with the too low frequency and then uh, program number 13 it's factory reset um, 
If you choose number 8 and you click set, it will reset to uh, factory settings. Um, so if you play too much with that thing and you don't know what, what have you done. And, uh, I think that would be all for that section. And now we're gonna go to the program 70. No, 70. Um, so that's analog input and you choose what voltage it's controlling the speed so from 0 it's uh, 0 to 10, 1 is 0 to 5, 2 uh, 0 to 20 milliamps, 3 blah 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 it's not important uh, the important what you have to set it's set to 1 um, and then the next one will be uh, 71 71 I set on uh, 20 uh, that's apparently a default factory setting uh, leave it there and uh, now we're gonna go to uh, number 72 it's set to maximum which is your spindle so here you set how fast you want your spindle to spin so let's see um, I'm gonna turn it on as it is right now so that will set my minimum and I can spin it to uh, 24,000 rpms right If I change that to, let's say, oh Jesus, to a hundred, it should, the maximum, uh, maybe 200, so the maximum speed will be 12,000 RPM, so let's try if it's working. See? I set my minimum to uh, 6000 and my maximum to 1200 so that's what that parameter does so and I'm gonna switch it back to 400 so if you're wondering why your spindle doesn't go any faster than whatever speed you choose set okay And number 3, 73, it's a lower end frequency, so it won't go below um, 6000 RPMs, right? Because I set it to 100, so again I'm gonna show you program, 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 set. And if I'm gonna switch it to 0, Okay. and I set 10 let's say it should have 600 rpms uh, set. let's see so the minimum speed now it's 600 rpms which is uh, completely useless uh, so I'm gonna change it to so. 73, I'm gonna change it back to a 100, so it's something slightly more useful than 600 RPMs, and I won't be cutting with the speed lower than 6000 RPMs. What next? Uh, we go to 141. Four, okay, so it's 220 because it's rated to a 220 volt the program 142 it's the rated uh, motor current which um, I have uh, what 2.2 kilowatt on 220 volts it's supposed to be 10 amps but 
just for a peace of mind I'm gonna lower that thing uh, because I don't want to run it at um, full power I prefer to have it slightly lower uh, so my VFD won't burn or my spindle won't burn not entirely sure what's gonna be first uh, 143 it's a motor pole number factory setting is 4 and I didn't really had it on my uh, spindle uh, what was it so I kind of guesstimate that 4 seems to be working so I'm not changing that program 144 it's rated motor revolution it's really strange uh, because it's rated revolution at 50 Hertz so it means that if your spindle is 24,000 RPMs um, at 400 Hertz it means that at 50 Hertz it will be running 3,000 RPMs um, I don't know why they didn't you know let you choose you know 24,000 but yeah whatever at 50 Hz your spindle spins 3000 RPMs and at 400 Hz when you set the max it will be running at 24000 RPMs so set to 3000 we did set our spindle and it should be operational and uh, quite safe if it's not don't blame me I guess that would be it for now see ya next time <laughs>